morning, everyone, and good afternoon. Uh, today is one week since the first patient with Ebola in the United States was diagnosed. And one week into a situation, people begin to look back and they begin to think about it, think about what went right, what went wrong, what are the implications for the future. I think we have to keep a couple of things in mind. The first is that globally, this is going to be a long, hard fight. And the second is that we can never forget that the enemy here is a virus. The enemy is Ebola, not people, not countries, not communities, a virus. And it's a virus that doesn't spread through the air and that we do know how to control. The hospital released a statement saying that the patient was uh, intubated, meaning they're on a respirator to support their breathing, that he's on dialysis, meaning that he's uh, getting kidney dialysis to support his kidney functions, and that he re he's received this experimental treatment. He remains in critical condition. Uh, screening at airports, of course, would not have found fever in the patient in Dallas because he didn't have fever for four or five days after he arrived. But we'll look at all of the options. We're not today providing uh, the steps that we plan to take, but I can assure you that we will be taking additional steps and we will be making those public in the coming days once we can work out the details. Thank you very much.